Welcome back to Request Week on MMA Surge. I'm your host, The Squid. We got a question from Dan Dub, as many of you guys know me on the internet as Daniel W-I-J-S-T. He asks us about what to do when an opponent rushes at you. So on this episode, I'm gonna show you four different tactics you could use against a rushing opponent. Now let me show you what to do against a rushing opponent. I'm gonna bring Simon in. So, what is a Russian opponent? It's not someone from Russia. It is someone that's coming at you with strikes. Someone coming at you hard. So, I'm gonna show you what to do and how to react when someone's coming at you with strikes because it's a very panicky situation. You have to know what to do because you could lose in a blink of an eye. So, so, first thing to do against a Russian opponent is if he comes at me with some punches, I can just back up and make some space, Re really rush at me. So he comes to rush at me, I just, bl I back up, kind of parry the punches from the inside, and I keep my eyes on everything, and I just move straight back, and I, I stay nice and tight, try not to get clocked with any shots, and you'll be all right. So, but moving backwards is not a perfect thing. It's not, it's not offensive, it doesn't look good, and when you're moving back, you can get caught on your heels, and you can get dropped with a punch. So if you are gonna move back, you wanna move back, and when you're ready, you wanna set and throw a punch. So what that's gonna look like, we'll do it a little slower. He rushes at me with some strikes. I get myself into a spot, I plant, and I can turn and throw a shot. So I'm not just looking to back up and get away. I'm gonna look to back up, I plant myself, and fire a shot down the middle, and hopefully catch him coming in. So that's the first way, just backing up, getting out of the way, resetting. You don't, even, you don't always even have to throw a strike. I can just back up, reset myself, move again. That's number one. Number two is you're gonna move backwards, but you're gonna look to cut angles. That's, the, that's really the proper way you wanna move. Not just straight backwards, off to angles. So let's say when you practice with a partner, have him rush at you with a three punch combo. Have him go left, right, left. So he, if he goes left, right, left at me, go left, right, left, pop, pop, pop. What I'm gonna look to do is on that third punch, I'm gonna look to go to the right side. I'm gonna look to cut an angle and go to the right. So he throws left, right, left at me. I'm gonna cut, take a hard step to the right, and you'll see what happens, do it a little slower. I'm stepping. What's happening, I'm getting off to the side of him. I'm getting into his blind spot, and from here I could land a shot to the side of his head. I could sweep him back. I could take his back and get him down. So he throws left, right, left at me. I could just come behind the guy. I don't have to hit the mat. It's just about movement. Same thing the other way. Let's say he goes right, left, right. I'm moving back. Bop, bop. See, I'm gonna really throw, I'll show you from this angle. I'm gonna really throw my head. It's almost like a slip, so he goes right, left, right with me. Bop, bop. See, I'm gonna, see I, I, I come off to this side, and I pivot. And the same thing is happening again. I'm off to the side of him. He's facing the opposite direction to me, and he, ha he has to turn to face me. So what this does, this puts me slightly ahead of him uh, in our pace and where we're at. I, I'm slightly one step ahead of him when I do this step. So we'll do it slow again. So he goes right, left, right. I come over here, pivot off this front foot. I'm off to the side, and now I can attack. I can either hit a takedown, head kick, punch, elbow, or just move and reset again. So that's your second way. The third way is, I'm a wrestler, I got really good at this over the years, is I fought a lot of good strikers and most of them always rushed me. It's a really good time to hit your takedown. So what you could do is, so he throws, he throws some strikes at me. When I see him fully extended, that's when I wanna go underneath. When he's in this big punching motion, that's when I wanna shoot underneath and get a really easy takedown. So come at me with a whole bunch of punches. It's your your ideal time you want to go underneath if you're and it's a little bit of a natural reaction if he's coming at me with big punches and I think I'm gonna get cracked with a shot or hurt drop underneath and go in on a takedown the worst thing that can happen is he throws some punches at me I can come underneath we kind of stay on our feet but he's not punching me right now and he has to defend so he'll get a little more tired he has to worry about the takedown defense and just saves you a little time I'd rather hit the grappling and hit the floor then get punched in the face. And the fourth one I like to use is 
pretty sneaky one. When I'm backing up, I like to throw a rear or even a front push kick to the face. Very deceptive. So, so if Simon's here, he's coming at me with these punches. I can just sneak this straight up the middle and watch, it, watch what I do with my arms. When he comes at me, I'll put my arms out. I'm gonna look to put this punch, put this kick right on his face. So he goes to rush me, boom, push him away and I can reset. And that's what will usually happen. But if he's coming at me, he kind of adds to, he walks into the foot, we push away. If I do it with my front foot, he comes at me, just reset. So these are four really good ways you could use to stop a guy from coming at you and be kind of safe, but look good on the judges and also just still be offensive. When someone's rushing at you, you can still find holes and still find spots. You just have to be aware of what's happening. Keep your eyes on your opponent. Always keep your hands up, block, 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 and have a game plan and say, I'm gonna cut to the left, I'm gonna cut to the right, I'm gonna go for a takedown, and you'll find a ton of success. All right, let's recap of what you do against a Russian opponent. One, create space, back up, block the strikes, keep your eyes on your opponent, elbows in and parry, make sure you don't get hit with punches. Number two, cut some angles. So you always wanna move towards the hand, the final hand that's punching. So if it's a left, you're gonna move this way. If it's a right, you're gonna move this way. That'll leave you in a really good spot, leave you in a great place to throw some open strikes and possibly get a takedown. Three is actually going for the takedown. So you wait for the person to throw some strikes and commit. When they're committed, drop underneath, and get your takedown, turn your corner, and end up in a good position. And the fourth one is kick the guy in the face. You're, the guy's coming at you, you're backing up, Throw this kick up in the face because your foot is going to create some distance and you can land a nice strike because he's moving in. Thanks a lot, D-Dub, for your request. There's more request episodes coming, so stay tuned. Also, we have a newsletter, so make sure you subscribe to it as well as subscribing to this channel because I'm sure you guys are, but make sure you tell your friends to subscribe as well. I'm The Squid, and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.